Good morning, beloved listeners of Radio Easter Fear. Wow, what a wonderful day to be alive, to give the Lord all the glory and all the honor, because He's faithful, He's great, He's awesome. And the Bible says, let everything that has bread praise the Lord. And I want to encourage you this morning to tune in, because the Lord is so good and the Lord is so great. As I said last week, we celebrated the fourth year of Radio Easter Fear. And this is the doing of the Lord. When I came here, here was balloons and banners, and it was a celebration. But we need to continue to give the Lord all the glory. And I want to invite you into his presence this morning, right in your home or in your car, or if you are listening online, that the Lord has a word for us. You know what? The Bible is our manual towards instruction. The Bible is there to lead us and to guide us and to instruct us the way we should live on this earth. No wonder God said in the book of Genesis that he made man uh, in his own likeness and image, both male and female. So both male and female that are listening to me today, let me tell you this this word, the Bible, uh, we need to take this word and we need to uh, be encouraged to the word of God. And we are now going to listen to a song by Ntoko Zambambo, Maka bongwe. Amen and amen. TikTok. Be glorified. 
that we're listening to is Makabongwe. Hallelujah. Makabongwe. Makabongwe means praise the Lord. Let everything that has bread praise the Lord. And Tokoza Mbambo is one of our sisters. I just saw last night on Facebook save one another award. Oh, all, all glory and all honor. And we give the Lord all the glory for our sister and her husband that are in the gospel industry. And I can honestly say I've been following Ndokoza and her husband for years. And I can honestly say they are worshipers that worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. I never met them personally, but as I follow them, I see they are humble people. She have won many awards in this year. The heavens are open for her. And that's why I want to give the Lord all the glory, all the praise. And dear I can't understand it, but I have to say, for die mannen wat het vir ons mondelijk maak achter hierdie microfoon, die mannen wat hulle tyd op offer, wat, wat een passie het vir radiowerk, ons elke keer het een passie, maar ek wil vir die heren al die eer gee, aan die heren, sorry, ek wil vir die heren al die eer gee, aan Mr. Kenea, the vision of Radio Eastervier, and I want to thank the Lord for Jo, he's the, he's the guy sitting uh, behind the sound uh, 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 engineering, en Liam, Liam is ook hier iwers, ek sien, hy maak een lekker blik, uh, blikkie koffie daar, de blikbeker met koffie, hy gee ons hier een bykie nie, maar toe maar, ons gaan hom vergewe, en then listen is, I want to do this, as we done every week, and I want to, I want to introduce Radio Eastrevier, now Radio Eastrevier is the leading internet radio station in Cape Town, thank you for interacting with us on our various platforms, you can catch us live on Facebook on the Radio Eastrevier page, join us on TikTok live, on the Radio Eastrevier TikTok profile, so we are also live on the TikTok profile, check out our website for the live stream and to learn more about Radio Easter River, find us at www at Radio Easter River, one word, dot co dot za. Then of course, the best way to experience Radio Easter River is to download the Radio Easter River app. This is available to download for free on any smart device. You can download it on Play Store, Hawaii Gallery and App Store. All live shows are recorded and available as podcasts for you to listen to at any time. So you have no excuse, listeners. All you need to do is to search Radio Easter Radio Easter River, one word, on all podcasting sites, including Spotify, YouTube, Deezer, etc. You can also connect with us on WhatsApp by sending a message or voice note to 064-536-9095. And then to advertise with us, you can send an email to our marketing team at admin at radio yesterday, one word, dot co, dot z. I know that is no monfall, listeners, but I can't hear my words to record, but I must also be aware of who is on the opdracht that on my given word, volgens ons, ons, ons CEO, so that, so that allemaal moet weet waarom radio yesterday we te kry. And then I want to, um, say to somebody here today before I forgot um, next month on the 12th of May is Mother's Day and we are going to have each and every Sunday a guest speaker that's going to come and share about motherhood their experience about motherhood I'm going to have an uh, a elderly lady of over 70 years old I think Auntie Katie is amper 80 I'm going to have uh, 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 Heraldine Chihenda. She's a mother. Uh, and she's going to talk about blended families. Uh, she's a publisher of books. She's a, 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 a businesswoman. And I'm going to have a pastor. She, uh, she, she was a pastor's wife before because, but now she's, she, she has been in your days. Oh, sorry, ordained a few years ago as a pastor. And we're going to have a, 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 a online uh, conversation with her. I think that that is going to be the last Sunday of May by the grace of God. And then we're going to have another lady who's going to share on motherhood, their experience, because I'm a nurse and I see every day a lot of pregnant ladies. And I believe that we can share our experiences. We can give them hope because motherhood is good, Jayo. Motherhood is good. 
Ja, nie dierbares. Ons gaan hier die pijn, ons gaan hier die leiding, ons gaan hier alles. But if you're gonna read the Bible, the Word of God is gonna help you to, to, to understand uh, about motherhood. What is the Bible saying about motherhood? And, and I want just to encourage you, tune in on Facebook, Radio Eersevier Pace, and tune in onto TikTok, and we are gonna choose each and every week somebody or more than one person to be blessed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, this by the word. Now, this morning today, I want to minister to us a word because all of us that are on this earth will experience a desperate moment, J.O. A moment where we had to make a decision. There are times in our lives that Something happened as he now. And, and, and how do we, how do we handle, how do we think on our feet? Who dunk us op onze benen? Who dunk us vinnig om, 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 om een besluit te maak vir dit wat ons dier maak? En ek gaan vir ogen op Radio Eerste vier gaan ek vir ons help dier die woord van die, dier die woord van die Heere, because I have no other Direction. I have no other encouragement than the word of God because when I gave my life to Christ as Elmery Souls, the Bible directed me because all of us, we experience desperate moments, we experience emergencies, we experience uh, stuff in a way that when we made a decision, when we made a, 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 a temporary decision, that decision might harm us. Their decision might bring us into more harm because I am an example of making a temporary uh, uh, situation a permanent thing because I still have scars of not trusting God. I still have testimonies of not trusting God and we are going to read this morning out of the word of God. I'm Pastor Elmery Souls. I am from Jehovah Sama Family Church in the Strand. And if you want to connect with me, I'm on Facebook as Elmery Souls. And we also have a Facebook page, Jehovah Sama Family Church. If you are in need of prayer, you can use the WhatsApp uh, of Radio um, Yesterfeer on Facebook, as I mentioned earlier. Or you can reach out to me on my Facebook page. But we're going to read the book of 2 Kings 20. But the same story also are in Isaiah 38. But I'm going to read the one in 2 Kings 20 from verse 1. Hezekiah's illness. In those days, Hezekiah became ill and was at the point of death. The prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, This is what the Lord said. Put your house in order because you are going to die. You will not recover. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord, Remember, Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully and with wholehearted devotion and have done what is good in your eyes. And Hezekiah wept bitterly. Be before Isaiah had left the middle court, the word of the Lord came to him, Go back and tell Hezekiah, the ruler of my people, this is what the Lord, the God of your father David says, I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. On the third day from now, you will go up to the temple of the Lord. I will add 15 years to your life and I will deliver you in this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend this city for my sake and for the sake of my servant David. Then Isaiah said, prepare a poultice of figs. They did so and applied it to the, bo to the boil and he recovered. Hezekiah had asked Isaiah, what will be the sign that the Lord will heal me and that I will go up to the temple of the Lord on the third day from now? Isaiah answered, this is the Lord's sign to you that the Lord will do what he has promised. Shall, shall the shadow go forward 10 steps or shall it go back 10 steps? It is, it is a simpler matter for the shadow to go forward 10 steps, said Hezekiah. Rather have it go back 10 steps. Then the prophet Isaiah called on the Lord and the Lord made the shadow go back the 10 steps it had done. Sorry, it had gone down on the stairs, stair, stairway of Ahaz. Now, in this uh, uh, 11 verses, it's filled with so much wisdom and knowledge and understanding. And I want us to understand that 
by reading the Bible is not to, to read the Bible and start a, a yearly journal. I was driving the other day and I was saying to myself, Elmery, you need to start reading the Bible again from Genesis to Revelation. But I want us to understand that by reading the Bible uh, 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 according to chapter to chapter or book for, from book to book must be for us a deeper understanding in the Holy Spirit that needs to give us a deeper revelation for our own lives. And the 11 verses in Hezekiah, sorry, in 2 Kings uh, 20 is filled with so much uh, uh, answers for us that are sometimes in desperate need of help. It's, uh, I ministered last week already on this topic and I just want to continue because there are more to learn. There's, there are more to see in the Word of God. And in this uh, uh, chapter 20 is a story of Hezekiah who was chosen by God. The first thing that we need to understand, he was chosen by God because the Lord said in, in when he responded to Isaiah the prophet, he said, uh, he said um, before Isaiah had left this middle court, the word of the Lord came to him. Go back and tell Hezekiah, the ruler of my people. So Hezekiah was chosen by God to rule the people of God. He was not just coming up because he thought he was smart. He was not a leader because he thought he can overpower the people. But he was chosen by God to rule over the people. And we're going to learn later what is the life of Hezekiah? Why did Hezekiah in his desperate need cry unto God? And as we read further, the Bible says that Hezekiah became ill to the point of death. He was so sick that he must eindelijk gestaar word. Iemand sit vandag daar, jy is op een siek bed. Jy luister na my stem vanmorgen en ook die wat voor my gepreek het en wat na my gaan preek. Jy is in een situasie waar jy vir jouself sê, if you pack your bags and you go out of that door, you will not turn back. You will not look back to your situation. But I want to encourage you by, by, by packing your bags, by leaving your home, you will, you, you will leave your home in the same mess, in the same disaster, in the same stress and, and, and desperation that you are in. Because sometimes we make a temporary uh, 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 answer. We have a temporary answer which is going to bring scars for many, many years. And as I said earlier, I've done temporary things just to fix a quick fix, a tumor on a tumor on noodle thing. Just to get me out of the mess. Om net my die gemorse te kry. En dierbaar is, dit het my dier te staan gekos. En die woord van die Heere sê, that, that while the Bible says in verse 1, he was so sick to the point of death. I want to say to somebody, I want to bring you this scripture that said, the prophet Isaiah, son of Amos, went to him and said, now that few words make me so excited, listeners, that God knows everything about us. I mean, the scripture did, did not start with that, that Hezekiah prayed. That began met die woord, dat Hezekiah gebid het nie, dat sê net, dat hy was siek, tot die punt om te sterwe, en, en God weet van jou omstandighede, God weet van jou desperaas, van jou desperade oomlik, God weet van jou siekte, van jou siekte toestand, God weet dat jy het slechte nies gekry by die dokter, God weet van jou financiële toestand, God weet van jou die was wat jy wil gaan maak morgen, morgen wil jy na die kool toe gaan, en jy wil gaan apply vir die was, God weet van jou siekend, God weet van jou sien wat op draks is. God weet van jou werk wat in, 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 in die, jy is in die grootste moeilijkheid by jou werk. God weet in die naam van die Heere. Hy ken elke situasie. Die woord van die Heere sê, dat hy is die kenner van die hart en hy is die toetser van die nere. En my dierbaar is die woord van die Heere moet vandag vir ons nieuwe hoop en nieuwe kracht gee. Die woord van die Heere, die woord van die Heere is soos my resine vir ochend. Hy wil jou genees, want die woord van die Heere sê dat the prophet came to, 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 to him and said to him and luister wat sê vir hom. This is what the Lord says. Put your house in order because you are going to die. You will not recover. 
En van ons het niets gekry wat niet zo so lekker is nie. Van ons het niets gekry wat ons voor onszelf zal sê. Nou stap je dag vrijdag, maar dan het jy van die werk af gestap en vir jouself gesê. Jere, ek het dan onlangs een huis gekoop dier die bang. Ek het een nieuwe kar gekoop. Jere, ek het nou net u aangeneem als mijn verlosser en zaligmaker. Hier vertel die dokter my dat ik het drie maanden oor om te leven. Want wan, wan die profeet van God, the prophet of God, came to Ezekiah and said to him, get your house in order you are surely going to die and I want to tell somebody this morning I mean if the prophet of God comes to me and said Elmery get your house in order ek weet nie my dierbare maar ek sal soos Hesekaie gewees het ek sal jo bedunane I will pagamis en jou zako ek sal opgestaan het sê hi hi bo Jesus kolum 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 Jehova oh my Lord and my God en weet u wat gebeur Hoe, hoe gaan jy voel? Hoe gaan jy voel, Jayo, as die profeet van God vir jou sê, Hebe, Tunan, get your house in order. You are going to die. Jy gaan sterwe. Maar weet jy, ek wil nie vir oge nie, I don't want us to stop at this some sort of negative message because die is eindelijk een negatieve boodskap vir ons as mens. When the prophet tells us we're going to die, we, 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 we cry unto God. Jere, maar hoe is het moeilijk? Jere, hoe kan ik nou sterven? Ik het zo so bij je om voor te leven. En ons gaan leer dier die woord van, 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 van. Hesekaja, hoe het hy tot God gebid? Wat het hy vir die Jere gesê? En weet u, Hesekaja het, het sy gezicht. The Bible says, Hesekaja turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. Hy het sy gezicht na die meer gedraai. He turned his face to God. And he started to pray. But I want us to know about who was Hezekiah. Because many times we read about these men and women in, in, in the Bible. And we don't have a clue about their lives. Now Hezekiah, he was the first king since David to keep the Lord command. He re, re, and he restored the right worship for the people and to honor him as true God. Hezekiah was the first king after David who was chosen by God. Remember in the scripture where, where God spoke to uh, Isaiah the prophet and said to him, Go and tell the leader of my people. I, I, I like that sticky. And I bid for ogen that wanneer God ons aanwoord, dat hy sal sê, Elmery, die leier van Jehovah Sama Family Church, wat ek gekies het om die volk te lei, ek wil hee vir ogen, dat die Heere moet vir iemand sê, Jeo, you, the, the leader over the people that I have chosen, en ons gaan verder moet gaan. Hezekiah was a humble man, who called on the Lord, and saw this direction, by the way of his prophets. To ek hierdie, hierdie, hierdie research gaan doen, to verstaan ek, hoe kom het God, die profeet gestuur, because, Hezekiah is a king, he always inquire, through the prophets, to God, he was calling the prophets, to tell the prophets, listen, ask the Lord, if we need to go to war, ask the Lord, if I need to do this, ask the Lord, if I need to retreat, vraag vir die Heere, moet ek dit doen, because he was a man, a king, after David, because David was a king, a man, after God's own heart, and he, he always inquired, he always called the, called the, the prophets, to ask the prophets, the true prophets, to ask the prophets, inquire of the Lord, if we need to go, if we need to go this and that. Because as a king, they face adversary. Because they had enemies that wanted to kill them. He was also a great man of prayer. And we, and we, and we can see something of a model for, 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 his, for, 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 for he was the one who always prayed unto God. And he prayed unto a loving God. His first prayer was in 2 Kings where he, where he inquired of the Lord if he need to go and fight the men of Sena Sherab's army. So Sena Sherab's army was against him and, him and the people and he was the one who asked the Lord if they need to go and fight the battle. 
And, and then his second prayer is where we're going to learn how to pray unto God. He prayed his second prayer in the Bible, they, but there was more prayers. But the second prayer that I want to talk about was where he prayed for himself, where, where he became sick to the point of death, where he cried unto God. The Bible says he turned his face to the wall and he started to pray. So Hezekiah as a king was a faithful king, faithful to God and he was faithful to his people. He, he, he honored God with his whole life. He honored God to a point that he doesn't want to do anything without the Lord. And this is what I want to say to somebody here today, including me, that in your desperate situation, can we learn from Hezekiah that he didn't make a, 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 a temporary conclusion about his sickness. He could have asked for a doctor. He could have asked the, the people that he, that he was leading for help. But because he had a relationship with God, the Lord could send a prophet to him to tell him to get his house in order. Now this uh, sentence, get your house in order, is a sermon for another day. Because I'm telling you, listeners of Radio Yestrafir, soon or uh, someday we're going to die. But for now, we're going to trust the Lord how to get out our situation. And the Bible says, Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and prayed to the Lord. Remember, Lord, how I have walked before you faithfully. And, how, and with how hard a devotion and have done what is good in your eyes. And as a kind of way bitterly. So in our desperate need, in our need for God, when we go through things, when we face death, when we face problems, when we face adversity, we can learn from Hezekiah not to do our own things. Is to go to God and say, God, you know what? This body is sick. But with the little power that I have, I want to cry unto you to say, God, you know how I serve you. Hezekiah, the one thing that we can learn from Hezekiah, when he was praying, he was crying for mercy unto God. He was crying because he had faith unto God. He had faith that He had faith that God will return his prayer into victory. Hezekiah was a king who knew about God because God brought them through many adversaries. God brought them through many, many trouble because the, the time that he was king, there was many enemies against him and the people. So Hezekiah knew that the only way for him is to turn to God and not to men. The Bible says that what is impossible with men is possible with God. And Hezekiah decided that, that men cannot help him. Because he, 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 he knew that he was sick. He knew his, that he was going to die. And today we need to understand that the Bible says in, in Psalm 142 verse 6, even David, I'm going to bring a lot of people in this message to give us a clearer picture and understanding that there are, there are more people in the Bible that cried unto God. The same way that King Hezekiah cried unto God, we can learn also to the life of David. Now David was a man after God's own heart. And we know about the story of David. He was a shepherd boy. He was minding his own business in the field. And then and, and God sends, sent uh, prophet Samuel to anoint the king. And when Samuel came to his father's house, there were seven sons in that house. And God spoke to Samuel and said to Samuel, listen, none of these boys standing before you is fit to be a king. And Samuel asked the father, Jesse, do you have any other son? And they said that he's in the field busy uh, with the sheep. And when David entered that house, the Lord said to him, this is the king. And, 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 and when David became king, David's life was so much in a mess. He was a mighty warrior. He was the one, the Bible said, he was a man after God's own heart. In Psalm 142 verse 6, we're going we're gonna to read what David was writing. Sorry, we, we, we are going to read what David was praying unto God. In Psalm 142 verse 6, listen to my cry, for I am in desperate need. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than me. The same way Hezekiah said to God, God, I am your son. I am the one who have 
tried to live a holy life, who have tried to, to, to be faithful unto you. He said, I have walked before you faithfully in the same way David was also reminding God the life that he loved. Although David has sinned and fall short of the glory of the Lord, the Lord, God rose him up again when he repented of his sins and he was restored by God. And I want to say to somebody here this morning, you're going to say, but Elmer, you know what? What can I ask the Lord? Am I entitled to ask the Lord? This Bible give us entitlement if we are in the Lord. And I want to say to somebody here today, may the word of God that I ministered to and all the other broadcasters, may this word reminded you to give your life to Christ so that you can cry unto God. You know what? When I was a sinner, I was crying unto God and God answered my call. So this message is for all of us, but somebody that, that is not born again need to understand that you need to give your life to Christ. Then in Genesis 30 verse 8, I'm going to give you another example of Rachel. Now Rachel and her sister were married to the same man, but Rachel had a struggle. And she said in Genesis 30 verse 8, Then Rachel said, I fought a desperate struggle with my sister named Leah, but I won. So she named his, so, so she named his son Nephtali. So, so, so the Bible says that Rachel that Jacob loved Leah more than Rachel. And Rachel was struggling to, to, to deliver babies. But she prayed unto God. She was desperate for God to open her womb. And when she delivered Nephtali, she said, I have struggled, my God. I was struggled with my sister. But I won. The Lord gave me victory. And today, the Lord wants to give somebody victory. That, that said, but Elmer, the doctor said, it will not be possible for me to have a baby. I am. I, 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 I am barren and the Lord said to me, sorry, and, and, and the doctor said to me that even the medical test that they've done, there's nothing in that results that show that you can have a baby. But can I tell you that Rachel, according to the, according to some, sorry, according to Genesis 30, the Bible says that Rachel was desperate. She cried, she cried unto God. Sy het gebid tot die Heere, die selle manier, hoe Hezekiah, hoe Hezekiah tot God geroep het, en hy sê, I have walked before you faithfully, and with wholehearted devotion, and have done what is good in your eyes. En die woord van die Heere sê, dat dat, Psalm 31, 14, 15 say, I am, I am desperate, Lord. I throw myself upon you, for you are, you alone are my God. Die boek van Psalms geef vir ons baie, baie, baie skrifte, hoe David en die sons of Korah uitgeroep het na, die, na God die Vader, toe hulle in desperate need was. En weet jy, ons gaan sy Johasies kry, waar ons in desperate need is vir die Heere. Maar ek wil ook vir morgen sê, Jyo, die Heere is nie een emergency box, dat jy na hom toe moet hardloop en sê, Heere, ek het, ek, ek het nou twee geestelike pillekies nodig, ek het nou een geestelike injection nodig, dat gaan met een verhouding met God. As een verhouding met God. En iemand het vir ogen die geleentheid wat na ons luister om te sê, Elmerie, maar ek is die persoon wat graag my leven aan God toe wil wy. So, so, so wanneer ek in daar die oomelike kom, dan kan ek na die Heere toe uitroep in die naam van die Heere. En weet u, Lukas 18, ek wil Lukas 18, 7 tot 8 lees. Maar Lukas 8, sorry, Lukas 18 gaan vir ons ook rechtig vir ogen help om te verstaan dat Jesus wil ons help, Jesus wil ons red, Jesus wil ons handvat en ons uit die put uit, uithaal. Vers 7 tot 8, kom ek lees vir u. And will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly, however, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith on the earth. En dit is wat die woord van die Heere sê, dat God wil aan ons recht laat bewys, maar ons moet uitroep na hom toe en ons moet ook vir ogen leer uit die woord van die Heere uit, hoe het die sakaie gemaakt met al die ander mense wat ek inbring, so dat ons kan verstaan dat 
en hier is skrif as hoop, en hier die woord van die Heere is lewe, wat die woord van die Heere gee ons lewe, gee ons hoop om aan te gaan. En die woord van die Heere sê, soos ek voorin gesê het, dat um, the story of Hezekiah is in Isaiah 38, en also in 2 Kings 20, verse 1 to, verse 1 to 11. But in 2 Kings 20, God gave Hezekiah the instructions what to do through the prophet. Now let me tell you this morning, when we cry unto God, out of desperation, out of sickness, out of being in jail, out of being uh, to a point of divorce, because we, we need the Lord to, to, to deliver our children from drugs or ourselves from, 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 uh, from backsliding. We need to understand God always give us instructions. Let my dearbare luisteraars. God gee ons altijd instructies. God gaan nooit antwoord jy jou sonder instructies sê. Jy kan maar vir jou klaar maak my sister en my broer. Read the Bible. When God answer us, He will always give us direction. Because in Psalm 32, when David was desperately crying unto God, when David was repenting his sins, let me, let me read to you what did God said to David. God said to David in Psalm 32 verse 8. He said, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. 9 says, do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by butt and bridle, or they will not come to you. And, 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 and here is a scripture that I can honestly tell you, God never give us answers without instruction. Now here is the instruction for Hezekiah. God said to the prophet, before Isaiah had left the middle court, that he tells, sorry, the, the word of the Lord came to him. Go back and tell Hezekiah, the rule of my people. This is what the Lord says, the God of your father David. I have heard your prayer and seen your tears. I will heal you. On the third day from now, you will go up to the temple of the Lord. I will add 15 years to your life and I will deliver you and this city from the hand of the king of Assyria. I will defend this city for my sake and for the sake of my servant David. He said to him, Isaiah, go back to Hezekiah. Tell him, I have heard your prayers and I have seen your tears. So God was much aware when Hezekiah turned his face to the wall God was much aware and God is waiting for us in our tears, in our misery, in our pain, in our sickness, in our low self-esteem, in whatever we are going through, God is waiting for us the same way Zechariah was praying unto God, the same way he cried unto God. God, was, God is waiting upon us to cry unto God, to pray and call upon the name of the Lord. We need to call upon the name of Jesus because the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. The Bible says in Psalm 40, 40 we're going to learn through Hezekiah and David and many more examples. Listen to David. David said, I waited patiently for the Lord. He turned to me and heard my cry. And sometimes we are crying to human beings. We are crying to people. Oh, we all sometimes we are crying on Facebook. We are crying on TikTok. We record videos and say, oh, this is my situation. <laughs> we are crying on social media. But yes, Zechariah, the Bible says, he cried unto God. David cried unto God. Rachel cried unto God. He said, I was desperate for a child. There are somebody you are, you are desperate for the child. Now that you've done all the medical stuff and you paid a lot of money, you went to fraternity, cl fraternity clinics and it was a negative and, 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 and you are in tears. You want to adopt a child. But I want to ask you this morning, can you be like Hezekiah? Can you be like David? Because David said, I waited patiently on the Lord. 
He turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the slimy pit, out of the mud and murder. He said, he set my feet on a rock and gave me a firm place to stand. And this is what I like. I like all the scriptures, but this one, he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. So when we cry unto God, when we call upon the name of Jesus, when we, when we turn, give ourselves over. He said, Lord, you are Ik weet niet meer wat om te doen nie. Jere, ek, ek, ek weet niet meer wat om met die kind te doen nie. Jere, ek het al die kind uitgesit. Ek, ek, ek het al een ander dag gekryd in my man. Jere, ek, ek het nou van werk verander. Ek het nou al van huis verander. Jere, maar die duivel wil my net nie los nie. En as een koorkie wat sê, Jere, maak my los. Jere, maak my los. Kreeg so maar hy koorkie, my broer. Jere, maak my los. Maar vir ochend wil die Jere jou los maak dier die woord van die Heere, van Hezekiah heard from the prophet, when God spoke to the prophet, God said to the prophet, listen, go and tell him, I have heard his prayer, I have seen his tears, I will heal you Hezekiah, the Lord wants to say to somebody here this morning, I have heard your, your, your prayer, I have heard how you, how you cry unto me, I have heard how you desperately were looking for help in the name of Jesus, ek het jou gehoor aan die nacht, hoe jy heil, ek het gehoor hoe jy tranen stort, want jy wil nie gehad het, dat jou, dat jou kinders moet hoor jou heil nie, en die selle manier, hoe hy sy kaaie uitgeroep het, die selle manier, hoe David uitgeroep het, die selle manier, hoe Mooses uitgeroep het, weet jy, Mooses is nog een leier, hy word gekies door God, om die volk uit te leie, uit, uit, uit die gypte uit, en weet jy, die volk was weer de strewig, Mooses, God moes tien pla, aan die, aan die, aan die, aan die, aan die gypte nare wees, so dat die Israelite moet sien, God sy grootheid, so dat die gypte nare moet sien, dat hy as die levendige God, maar weet jy, toe God hulle uit, uit die gypte uit leie, en Mooses hulle voor leie, wat, they was a stiff neck people, and many times, Moses has to cry out of desperation, Mooses moet uitroep na God, en sê, jyre, weet jy wat ek hou van Mooses, op een stadium sê, jyre, as jy teenwoordigheid nie met my gaan nie, dan gaan ek nie hierdie mense uitleid nie, daar is miskien vanmorgen pastore, jy sikkel met die gemeente, jy weet nie wat ek kan doen nie, jy sê, jyre, en vir 10 jaar kom ek aan met die gemeente, jyre, as jy teenwoordigheid nie vanmorgen met my gaan nie, if the spirit of the Lord doesn't go with me, God, I'm gonna pick up and go, I'm gonna find myself a job, I want to say to you, pastor, the apostle, prophet, evangelist and teacher you were called by the Lord the same way God has called Hezekiah, he said go and tell Hezekiah who is leading my people, I want to say to the fivefold ministry, sometimes it's tough, hallelujah, sometimes we want to turn back, sometimes we want to throw in the towel sometimes we want to say God almighty doesn't the com- doesn't the congregation see that I have debt to pay? Doesn't the congregation see that I need to feed my family? Doesn't the congregation see in the spirit that I am in need of money? But I want to say to a pastor here today, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Lord has heard your prayers. The Lord has seen your tears. When you pray in the morning, when you call upon the name of the Lord three o'clock in the morning, I don't want you to throw in the towel because I'm a pastor myself. I know what it takes to to lead the people. I know what it takes, oh God. Ek praat hier vir ochend, omdat ek dink, ek het alles by my nie, maar as kere pastoor nie even gelisse, wat ek sê, jyre, in die, in, die, in die naam van die jyre, van die leeskare, hoekom luister die mense nie? Hy het alweer teruggeval in alcohol, hy het alweer teruggeval in drakse, hy het aan hulle harte vir die jyre gegeen, hy het aan getuig vir die gemeente, dat hulle by die jyre gaan bly, and this is where our help come in this morning. Because sometimes we as the fivefold, we pray in desperation, oh God, have mercy upon us. And the Bible says that, you know what? I was ministering this word yesterday morning about the eight minutes uh, recording on, 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 on WhatsApp and I was sharing the same message. And last night when we used the same scripture in, in our home for Bible study in, in one of my daughters, I've got a lot of daughters, I've got two biological children, but I've got a lot of daughters, the whole church. And Bianca was reading Isaiah 38. And as she read Isaiah 38, 
I saw more than what the Lord done for Ezekiah and his people. The Lord healed him. The Lord gave instructions. And the Lord said to Isaiah, Tell Isaiah, prepare a poultice of fig. And they did so and applied it to the bowl and he recovered. And then Ezekiah is asked Isaiah, what will, what will be the sign that the Lord will heal me and that I will go up to the temple of the Lord on, on the third day from now? He was asking now the prophet, what will be the sign? Because the Lord said to Isaiah, tell him that he is going to give the enemy into his hands. So what the Lord did for Ezekiah is more than his healing. He healed him of his sickness and he ate 15 years to his life. And the other thing that God did for him and his people, the Lord allowed them to be victorious over the enemy. And Hezekiah asked the prophet, now what is the sign? And here is the sign. Isaiah said to him, this is the Lord's sign to you that the Lord will do what he has promised. Shall the shadow go forward 10 steps or shall it go back 10 steps? It is simple. It, it, it is a simple matter for the shadow to go forward 10 steps, said Hezekiah. Rather, if it go back 10 steps. So Hezekiah now gave the Lord the instructions how to be, how to be victorious over the enemy. And the Lord granted his wish. He was excited. So in your desperate need, in your prayer, please listen to God's answer. Because the prophet was not even far. He was in the middle court and the Holy Spirit allowed him to turn back through God and give Hezekiah the message. And it says, then the prophet Isaiah called on the Lord and the Lord made the shadow go back. The, uh, the 10 steps, it has gone down on the stairway of Ahaz. And the Lord answered the prayers of Hezekiah to a point that the whole nation benefited out of the prayers of Hezekiah. So the prayer that you need to pray, my brother and my sister, is not only for you, although you are sick. It's not only for you because you want God to restore your marriage. It's not only for you because you lost your job. It's not only for you because your son uh, uh, is healed from drugs or your, or, or your husband is, 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 is healed or, or, or delivered from, from alcoholism. The, the, the whole point is that the... the the prayer answers for me and you is to become a testimony so that we can go and tell other people about the greatness and the goodness of the Lord. Because in Hebrews 13 verse 5b, it says, God said, never will I leave you nor forsake you. But sometimes when we are in desperate need, when we have a problem that looks to us physically as big as a mountain, the Bible says, God said, said it himself, never will I leave you nor forsake you. Because, because many times we, we feel like if, if as God has forsaken us. I didn't read in the book of Hezekiah that he felt forsaken. But if you study the life of David, you're going to read in the book of Psalms how David even reminded the Lord, Lord, did you forget about me? Lord, are you forsaken me? Lord, don't you see that the enemy surrounding me? Lord, don't you see that the enemy wants to kill me? Lord, don't you see that I have no way out in this cave? Because there was a situation that David was in the cave with Saul, but David made a wise decision not to kill Saul although Saul was looking for him to kill him. But in the book of Psalms, we're going to see how much more did David remind the Lord. Here het I het I dan van my vergeet, en vir oogend wil ek vir iemand sê, baie keer voel dit vir ons, dat God het ons vergeet, maar kan ons vanmorgen leer, uit die lewe uit van Hezekiah, when he turned to the wall, when he turned his face to the wall, when he cried unto God, when he prayed unto God, the Bible says, that the prophet was sent back, he was not even far, and this morning, I want to encourage us as listeners, what you are going through, can you cry unto God, can can you call upon the name of the Lord? He is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is the all-powerful, all-knowing God. He is the one who make a way where there seems to be no way. He make every crooked path straight in the name, uh, in the name of Jesus. He wants us to be 
to, to forget about the former things, but we need to give the things to him so that he can do new things to us. So what say I for Ochen did in Lieber van Isakaya? God ate 15 years to his life. God healed him of his sickness. And God gave the enemy into his hands when he asked God, what will be the sign? And the Jere van the Leerskare, he, he will for us tekens gee. Maar ons moet niet zo so occupied wees in ons eie strijd nie. Hy wil ons een teken gee. Weet jy, somtijds as ek rij na werk, dan loop my trane, dan praat die Heere, as ek, dan sê die Heere my, ja Marie, this is what, this is what I want you to do. En kan ek jy skok? He start with me first. Hy begin eerste met my. He said, Elmer, I don't want you to go this way. I want you to go that way. I don't want you to move quickly. I want, I, I want you to wait upon Upon me is your Lord and God. And for ogen wil ek vir iemand sê, wat die Heere vir Ezekia, vir, vir, vir Ezekia gedoen het, vir Ezekia gedoen het, jammer, kan die Heere vir u doen. Iemand sit vir ogen in desperate need vir die help van die Heere. Maar dan wil ek vir jou sê, as die Heere jou help, dan moet jy die Heere eer. Want Psalm 50 sê, call upon me in the day of trouble. I will rescue you, but you need to honor me. This is the word of the Lord for this Sunday and for the week. I want you to meditate on this word. Go back into Radio Eastrepeer Radio East Facebook page. They're on post podcast. You can go uh, uh, live, sorry, of, on the Facebook page. And you can meditate on this word. And you're going to be blessed. And if you trust the Lord and if you cry unto him, you pray unto him, he's surely going to give you instructions. And he's surely going to heal you and deliver you in the name of Jesus. Have a blessed week. And we're going to play out with a song. Jere maak my los, 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 los. <laughs> Halleluja. En die Jere gaat ons los. Maak dankie tja jou die Jere sien.
for listening to Radio Yesterova.